Okay, thank you. Well, as you know, in Italy, our situation now is very, very severe. Uh, today, we uh, we have uh, thirteen thousand deaths, and uh, uh, so all the country is locked down. Uh, this is very difficult for Italian people to accept uh, because, uh, you know, uh, we are in April, it's a very beautiful weather, and uh, many, many families are, uh, it's very difficult, uh, uh, in particular for uh, those who have uh, children in the, in the house. But uh, we, are, uh, we are keeping on uh, the lockdown uh, until uh, April, April 13. April 13, and then uh, we don't know how long it will last again. So, uh, Professor, Professor uh, Laula, uh, would you mind that I ask our Chinese um, experts, experts here to, to give you some feedback? Because I know that the Chinese government has exported some uh, TCM to your country, but you know the situation for you actually is still a, in dire need of these uh, medicines. Yes, so thank let's, you. Yeah. Yes. Can you give the Chinese expert some feedback? Yes. 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 实际上，现在啊，欧洲，呃，和呃，欧洲欧美欧洲欧盟地区啊，对于中药的使用呢，它有一定的限制的，因为对中药的认可呢，还没有达到一个非常高的一非常非常普遍的一个局面去的。因为在中国这一次呃，整个新冠肺炎的疫情的整个呃对应的过程中呢，中国的经验之一。或者经验中的核心内容，就是中西结合的救治。那么中西结合的救治的过程中呢，对于新冠肺炎采取了分级分类的管理去的。你比如说，对于轻型的和普通型这一类的病人，我们呃可能在在一个隔离点或者在方舱医院里面，那么早期我们也提倡呢，就是居家。进行隔离，这种隔离的同时呢，是给他中药的干预、中药的治疗，那么使这种病人呢能够呃能够痊愈，同时呢，不使这种病人这一类病人由轻转到重型，那么然后增加这个医疗的负担。好，翻译一下，麻烦你。嗯。呃、uh, ，actually as we know。In the EU, there are some restrictions on the application of TCM. Now, actually, here in China, the core of our Chinese experience is the combined use of TCM and Western medicine. And we have classified different stages of the patients, uh, such as mild cases and moderate cases. And we have, um, we have made a plan for them to uh, be quarantined such as be quarantined in the temporary hospitals and the designated hospitals. And in the early period, we also recommend the stay-at-home quarantine. And during this quarantine period, we recommended TCM intervention to help them fully recover and also to prevent the mild, ca mild cases from deteriorating into severe cases. This is a very important experience. 能够使轻型和普通型治愈，又不想重型去发展，那么这种经验呢，可能呃对于任何一个国家都是比较实用的。那么中国在这两个多月的那个应对疫情过程中呢，在中西结合这样的手段里面，我们中医的这个也梳理出来呃三三种药物和三种三个方子中药方子还是。有效的代表去了，当然也有其他的药物，呃，非常好的药物呢，去可以推广使用去的。但是这三药和三种方是这一次在总结那个新冠肺炎呃应对过程中所总结出来一个一个代表去的。这对于轻型和普通型的治疗，我们感觉呢，它的治疗呢，呃，它既可以使病人的症状去减轻
，又可以使它的病毒转阴。那么是减，那么它它的传染的几率呢，就会大大下降去的。这是从控控制这个病疫情来讲呢，具有非常重要的意义去的。对于重度的和危重度的，中西医结合的治疗和救治呢，在病死率的下降方面也有非常好的一个作用去的。当然，对于重症和危重症，我们的一些现代西医的一些治疗方法非常非常重要，比如说呃，养疗的问题去。呃，呼吸机的使用的问题去，脏器衰竭了以后呢，出现用用血氯、用 e c m 的问题去，这些都是能够保持病人能够救活的一种重要条件。嗯，差不多一点，欢迎简单一点就行。嗯。This is indeed a very very important experience for it. It plays a critical role in curing the mild and moderate cases. And so I believe that this experience is also applicable to all countries around the globe. And during this um, period, we have developed the three formulas and three drugs which are proven effective in treating mild and moderate cases for it not only relieves symptoms and also helps patients to convert to uh, negative in their NAT test. And for severe and critical cases, we recommend a combined use of Western and TCM. Uh, for it significantly lowers the mortality rate. And in treating severe and critical cases, Western methods are actually also very important, such as the, the oxygen therapy, uh, the use of ventilators, and ECMO.